I recently got some higher quality ABS and I decided that it would be a good idea to reprint some of the more uh, important parts of my Voron in stronger ABS. Specifically, I want to reprint my tool head. I have been running a dragon burner for a while and I've liked it so far, but I figured that the stronger ABS would be a good call because I was always a little bit worried about breaking my tool head. And after putting this together, it does feel a lot stronger. The red pieces that I'm messing around with here are ABS glass fiber from eSun. And the black pieces are Sun Lu ABS. I'm still planning on reprinting the extruder in the red uh, glass fiber ABS because it's stiffer and I prefer it. But I just haven't gotten around to that. And my old tool head had some problems the other day, so I just figured I would swap everything out to a new one since I already had almost all of the parts printed other than reprinting the tool the extruder again in the red ABS. The new cowling, hot end mount, and extruder mount are all printed in the ABS glass fiber. The only other difference from the old cowling to the new cowling is that I decided not to print the version with the cat ears, just because that version of the dragon burner blocks two of the screws for the Sherpa Mini. And I had some frustration with that in the past, so I figured this time I would just print the, the standard dragon burner. The hot end I'm using is a Drop Effect Next G Fiber. I got it a couple months ago. It's been great, really solid. I got it because I wanted to do more fiber filaments and then I ended up struggling a lot with that ABS that I got from the hardware store and that really discouraged me from getting more expensive filaments until now uh, when I'm getting a bit more confident with the performance of the printer and I'm looking forward to getting more carbon fiber filaments and more glass fiber filaments in the future. For anyone that's not familiar with the Dragon Burner, I'll just give a quick little recap of uh, the fans and how it works. It has two 4010 fans, one on either side, and then a 3010 fan, uh, axial fan, for the uh, hot end. And then it has lots and lots of different mounts for different hot ends and different extruders basically any extruder and hot end combination you can probably think of uh at least that i've needed to search the github is very detailed and very helpful i actually am going to be disassembling my dragon burner again because i finally got the parts for the dragon bird dragon burner filament cutter so we're going to be doing another disassembly to put that into the dragon burner uh since i think that will help with uh the pico mmu's color changing ability because then i don't have to do any tip forming which is a big pain
I'm gonna use the same internals for the new extruder that I was using for the old extruder. So, first step of uh, getting the new extruder ready is taking apart the old one. I don't know the exact uh, gears or internals that I have on the stripper mini. It's what came with the original FISA kit that I got for my Voron V0. Uh, they were parts for the mini self burners integrated extruder, but I don't actually know what type of extruder that is. The extruder does have a filament sensor attached to it. It's a modification that was designed for the Sherpa Mini. I'll make sure to include the links in the description below in case anyone else wants to build a similar dragon burner. It's a really nice filament sensor. It uses a four millimeter ball bearing. I think it's four millimeter, correct. Um, it will say on the official page what the size of the ball bearing is. We use a ball bearing and a micro switch. It's pretty reliable. Uh, and it also has an ECAS fitting on top, which just is a really nice way of holding filament. Or not the filament, the PTFE tube that holds the filament and avoids any problems. I did forget to put one of the heat inserts into the Sherpa menu, so I got that done, and then I also had some other parts that needed heat inserts. I'll show those in a later video, but I took the time to do those right now. I then spent ages trying to figure out what size spacers I should use from the back of the extruder motor to my tool head board. Uh, after a lot of trying and swapping them around, I decided to go with the two centimeter long ones. I was worried that they were going to hit the A and B motors at the back of the Voron, and that's why I was originally trying to swap them out, but these worked out fine. And just like that, the printer's back to life. I hope you enjoyed this shorter video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.